Hi, welcome to India Food Network. Here we are celebrating Valentine's Week. I'm Asha Khatao and today I'm going to show you nice and red and tempting and scrumptious beetroot risotto. If you like to know how to make it, keep watching. Let's begin uh, making a risotto. Number one is one tablespoon of olive oil. After adding the oil, you have to just uh, mix a knob of butter as they say. What it does is that uh, the olive oil gives the flavor and butter gives the softness to the dish. So once the butter and olive oil have been heated nicely, to this we add one small onion which is finely chopped and one clove of garlic which is crushed and we are going to saute this for a minute or two until it gets slightly transparent. As we can see after a minute or two uh, the onions look nice and transparent. To this we add 125 grams of risotto rice. You have to just pour it into the pan like this. This rice we do not wash or soak before cooking. We add now approximately 75 ml of white wine. It's lovely to see the wine sizzling along with the risotto rice. When this rice gets cooked in this wine, it has some different flavor. Nice and tangy. Mix it really well. And now we add 350 ml of vegetable stock. But what I do is I add this stock little by little. I add a little bit of stock. Once the whole mixture starts sizzling, then I add a little bit more. That way, uh, all the stock gets heated very evenly. And we have to do this on a medium flame so that we make sure that the rice is getting cooked at a not so fast speed because otherwise what happens the rice gets cooked but from inside it may remain a little raw which is not going to give a very nice texture. One thing we have to remember and reassure that until the rice is cooked to the el dante consistency we do not add any flavor which we are going to add today the beetroot with the puree and the pieces. Now the time has come where it is very close to getting done. This is the time when we add some seasoning to our risotto which is salt and pepper. Mix it really well and I'm going to make sure that all the stock or the liquid that we have added is all burnt out, it's incorporated with rice so that the rice does not remain liquidy anymore. It has to be nice and creamy and at the same time not too dry. Now we add some a quarter cup of parmesan cheese which is finely grated. Mix it really well and to get the creaminess to your risotto, some two tablespoons of nice fresh cream, thick cream. And finally, the flavor that we are waiting for to be added is a hundred grams of beetroot pulp and approximately the same quantity of beetroot pieces. Mix it very gently and oh la la, this is 
nice and red color risotto which is just getting ready to steal someone's heart. So here is our nice and attractive looking beetroot risotto and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this out of the box recipe. If you really do, keep watching India Food Network and do let us know your comments.